That's a minute, three seconds. A minute, three seconds. One point five would be thirty. So one point two five, one point two, right? One point one. All right. Oh, hey, Aaron, how you doing, man? Can you hear me? Hello? I think your mic is muted. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah. How's everything? Good good okay um like so we we kind of like we wanted to like start on the math portion uh sometime this month so i think you know the beginning of the thursday would be the best time but um i think i already gave this one to you the, um, the this is the first one we'll just run through like the beginning from one to like seven maybe okay. and then and kind of just like go over how do you how do you feel about i forgot already is um and it's been a while but um how how do you feel about part three versus part four which one are you more um comfortable with um i don't know i think about the same okay about the same yeah okay have you done a lot of practice with these already i know you said you did like eight uh, like practice exam eight to ten something like that yeah that's basically what i've done for practice for it and some of like the lessons on khan academy Okay, and they're pretty much similar. Um, did they did they give you guys like strategies for the the no calc portion? Um, I don't think so. Not that I it, remember. It's just going from problem to problem. Um, or like choose the easiest ones first sometimes. Okay, it's kind of similar. I mean, all of them are kind of like that. Like you know, like keep it simple, and then for the most part, I would say for math, like if I were just like give an advice for math. It, it's not as bad because then you, you mentioned to me that most most people that usually take it like they're really good at math you're, you're pretty good at math right you said you're in like treg already or calc whatever um i'm pre-calc pre-calc yeah so it's like treg and then like the exam is is pretty much up to treg and nothing past that right mm -hmm. yeah so i think it's not bad um and you you know since you're already doing like more advanced stuff already the main thing here i think they don't really they won't really like um, trick you. Um, it's just knowing your basics and really honing them, like from like algebra to geometry, all of that. Yeah. And what I would say is like, I wouldn't uh, process eliminate as much as what you did with the grammar one. Cause like, this is math. Like it's, it's really just like figure out, like do what it says and then you'll know the answer already. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, okay, is there like a, 
is there is there a reason why like B, C, or D is not a reason? It's really obvious why it's not. So that because it's math. So I would just attack it that way. Just do what it do what the problem test uh, tells you. And I guess for mental math wise, how how good are you with your like mental math? Um, I, I guess I'm, okay. Okay. <laughs> <You know. laughs> yeah. Uh, Cause um, a lot of the times, um, this is the part where people like I, I, was, I was actually talking to someone else about. The, um, I think they're gonna take it. They're gonna take the. Uh, let, let me see. I'm getting a call. Actually, hold up. Can you hold for a sec? Yeah. All right. Let me see. Okay, I'm back. All right, so sorry about that. Let me, let me just go back to this. Okay, so, um, so some of the references, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, just wondering. So some of the references here is, uh, I mean, like it's like basic formulas. I mean, you, you probably already know these ones, but um, it's just like, you know, for reference, um, I wouldn't, you know, like always like try, try your best to like memorize most of these. Uh, the more you can like, kind of like, you know, you, you not refer to anything, the better, because then you'll be like flipping to pages and it's going to take so much time. Mm -hmm. But, but um, yeah, so let's start with the first one here. And we'll just tackle them one by one. And they're not really that bad. So like, for, for today, let me just cover them. And then like, for the next one, uh, you know, like, um, uh, you, if we don't finish, you can do some of these for homework. And you already have this one, right? yeah yeah okay 
So like, um, let, let me just cover these. And I guess that's how we're gonna, you know, I'm not gonna create like a different sheet to for concepts because it's just math, you already know these ones. Mm -hmm. All right, so for this first one, it's really not that bad. You have K equals three here, right? No. And, and then all you have to do, if you want, you could um, do this with me if you have like a pen, paper and pencil. Yeah, I do. Okay, and then so you have X minus one over three equals K. And then you have K equals three and what is the value of X? So you just plug what K is in here. So, and then you solve for X. So X minus one, well, let me just get a smaller. And three uh, and then equals three here. And then so you you know solve for x just do some algebra so that's going to be nine, and then so that's plus one plus one right x equals ten right? Yeah. So yeah, like I said, you just do the math and then you don't have to process el eliminate it. It won't be like that. So that's that, and then uh, oh yeah, Freddie, you should go up and down. So let's go with two, and then so with two here. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just imaginary numbers. And then like um, you have uh, real and imaginary so that you have comp complex conjugate. Um, so when you do this, uh, what is the sum of like these two complex conjugates? You just plus the reals and the imaginaries, right? Mm -hmm. So you have seven plus minus eight and then plus three I plus nine I. So what you have there is seven minus eight is the um, minus one. And three plus nine I is plus 12 I. So it's this guy pretty much is eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, it's, it's really not that bad. Um, three, for these ones, th there are ones where like they become really wordy, but um, it's really just like these word problems where you, you just have to like uh, like fi figure out what the keywords are and like see if you can create uh, equations from them. And that, that's really the, the skill of uh, word problems is um, so you get this M right here. So after M's text messages each hour for five hours. So that right there is uh, the key phrase that gives you five M, right? yeah and the next thing here and and usually says like add when it says and it, it's usually mean add so add time it says the next thing here is sent p text messages each hour for four hours very similar wording so i would just do four p yeah yeah that's it you, like it's math you don't have to read through the whole thing figure out some comprehension sometimes you do but it's really just to the point where you can figure out what the what the equation is. All right, let's do number four. So for this one, um, it, it's a bunch of words, but all it's saying here is, I would just skip to the question, is what is the meaning of the value 108 in this equation? So this is the equation, right? Mm -hmm. And what is this 108? So I guess th this is the part where you look back now. So. Um, what is P and what is D? So P is the number of phones left and then D is the number of days she has worked that week. So how do you get 108? You make D equals zero, right? Yeah. So make D equals zero. And it starts each week with 100. So when D, D right here is the number of days she has worked this week, right? Mm -hmm. So when it's zero, what does that mean? that she hasn't repaired any of the yeah or she hasn't worked any days and she also it, hasn't repaired any of the phones yeah so that's the number that she has worked that week and then the number of phones left to repair so when you make so the d right here when you make that zero you just have to look for what wording matches what, whatever your assumption is for each of these variables and this one this one is the one that makes sense right yeah so that's the one which matches what you assume and it's b so yeah maybe that's like to the point of like actually really comprehending some of the words but it, it's really nothing just what you think is right you you know you get the 108 because that's what's asking you and kind of like go back to see if you can get some comprehension 
to what that means. All right. Let's do this one. This one's not bad. I actually like doing these problems because um, uh, they're meant to be easy because they're mental math. Uh, so given something like this, you what you would do is the following is equivalent to the expression above. So this one is pretty much doing some algebra, right? You're just mm -hmm. combining like terms. So let's do that. So you have the very first one here is you have this x squared y plus x squared y. So just cross out the ones that you already have. And then you have um, minus minus 3y squared minus minus. It's always the, the key is to look at the signs. So minus minus plus. That's this guy and then this guy. And then the other one is five and three. Uh, so that's plus five x y squared and it's minus three x y squared. So this one cancels out and you're only left with these two terms really. So it's two x y uh, x squared y plus two x y squared. So that looks like it's C, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good. It's not that bad, right? Yeah. So um, let's, maybe we'll see something that's super bad later on. So six is H equals three A plus 28.6. Um, so uh, for this one, uh, again, it gives you a bunch of words, but just go to the question. What is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? So what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height so i'm guessing h is like the height and then like a boy and each year so let's see a is the one in years so this is the one in years a is the so this is height and this is the um the years so if it goes to a boy size each year so what i would probably do with this one is i you would add to like the a because it's like adding to the years and because that's what it's saying here what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year so it's just really converting that to an equation so you do this you know like because a is years so you add one like so and then you kind of you kind of infer after you add one to so you kind of infer what happens to the height because that's what's asking you an increase in years gives you a, uh, an equation for the increase in height, but that's what you need to find out. So what is the increase in the boys at each year? So you plus one here, and you just do the math. And obviously this is just a distribution. And so it's like three A plus three. Uh, and then let's see plus 28.6 and then like let's try to rearrange uh, this equation so like you have um, kind of like what you have here so you had 3a plus 28.6 and then plus 3 that's fine right you're just rearranging it mm -hmm. so this first one is the original height right this is the original height. Yeah. So you can make that like, I guess, H zero. If you wanted to make this H zero, you could do that. And then this is H like final maybe. So H zero plus three. So H final equals H initial plus three. And let's go back to the question. What is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? So each year means like one year per year. So that's what, what we did, we increased it by one. And by increasing the, the year by one, we made, an, we increased the height by three, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the answer. You increase the height by three each year. So yeah, something like this, like this word problem is really just, if you can turn like the, the words into math, this, that's really the skill. Like it's not as confusing, but the more you do it, that's usually the one that people trip in a lot with turning the words into math 
but the more you do it, the you know, the more you're going to see like how, what they really mean, like how can, what are the different ways of turning words into math? And they're pretty, they're, they're not that much. So that's why you're going to see them often. All right. Number seven. So let's see this one. I think for this one, um, let's skip again to the, uh, the question, which of the following gives P in terms of M, R, and N? Whatever that means. So it says here P is dollars, R means percent annual interest, and then N is months, M is the needed to pay off a loan. Okay, so you have, this one is M in terms of P. It's the other way around, right? So it's, it's a given equation. It's M in terms of N, uh, N, N, P, and R. But they want you to make P in terms of M, R, and N, right? Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is transfer this over and isolate the P. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So uh, that's a simple skill. Um, I would just times it by its reciprocal, right? I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. So I guess M times whatever the reciprocal is, is going to be just opposite of this guy, which is one plus R over 1200. And you don't even have to write this if you want. Like if you already knew what you have to do, you can just skip to it and look at like which answer matches that. So which answer matches this guy? B. I it's just, yeah. Simple, right? I mean, that's why I like doing these math ones because it's quick, quick and dirty, I guess. They're not, they're not that, um, I think this one, the part three is not as hard, but once you get to like part four, uh, I mean, it's kind of similar. I guess pick your game, you know, which one are you, that you like more, I guess. So um, eight. So for this one, again, this algebra, I'm just plugging things in. So A over B equals two. And you have to find what four times B over A. So why don't you just flip it over, right? So this is one half, right? Mm -hmm. So like you have B over A and then you just plug it in. You just plug this guy in here. And, and then so you cancel and then you get this guy, right? Yeah. All right. Now I think uh, there's, there's some uh, system of equations here. And then I think this, this will probably be like one of the, it's either the word problem or like doing a system of equation. Mm -hmm. if, if it even gets like that hard. Um, so what is the you know, system equations about? So let's solve for the coordinate, pretty much solve for X and Y. So given this guy, uh, let's actually, I mean, you can do this in many ways. Um, let me just rewrite them. So that's, they line up three X plus four Y equals minus 23, minus X plus two Y equals minus 19. What I would do, you, you probably know how to do this already. So I'm just gonna, I mean, I can just times this by two or let's times it by three, solve for the uh, Y first. And so you have like three X plus four Y equals minus 23, minus three X plus six Y. I mean, like, since there's no calculator, you really have to do you know, your long multiplication and divisions. The so seven, two, that's 57. And then it's minus, minus 57. And then you just add it. So this cancels out. And then you have 10y. And then uh, after the 10y, and you have this minus six, no, minus 80. Oh my, minus 80. And then so y is minus eight. Then by 10, y is minus eight. And so you, I mean, by this thing right here, you, already, you found y equals minus, you could already pick this guy, right? Yeah. I mean, you really don't even have to, that's the reason why these are easy is you don't really don't have to pick out these other ones. It's, you can really just, you don't have to move on with x. So I would just do that. Try not to like write a lot. If you, I mean, the more mental math you do, the more reference that you can put in your head, the faster you're going to finish the problem. Less yeah. writing, the better. And, and that's, all, that's always the case. Less writing, the better. Um, 
Let's see, number 10. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of like one of those rules. Um, let, me, let me just read this. For the function of G defined above, A is constant and G four, they give you a G of four where X equals four equals eight. And they give you that one. So what, what is the value of G negative four? So you can see from this that, um, I mean, there's like two ways of doing this. Uh, you could either plug in the negative four or you can see that the, this guy is even, right? Mm -hmm. like it's, an, it's a quadratic, it's a parabola pretty much, right? So if you do this one, and then if you have like an even function, what does that mean? Do you remember that one? Um, that means the positive equals the negative, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. So this equals eight, the given. If, if you, if you could either do it this way, obviously like you could just plug in the negative four. So it would be this guy. But if you plug in the negative four, let's just do that. So negative four. You have like a, all right, let's see. Uh, actually, very first thing is you need to find what a is. So um, let's make eight and plug in the a and then the four squared plus 24, which is like a longer way of doing it, minus 24, 16 a. Uh, so that's minus eight minus 24 is um, minus 16. Yeah, I believe that's right. Yeah, minus 16, 16 a divided by 16. So a equals minus one, I believe. And then you plug that in, you, you, you take G minus four equals a, and then with this guy, so it's minus one and then X is minus four squared plus 24, so it's minus one times 16 plus 24. So it's minus 16 plus 24, which is eight, right? Mm -hmm. So either you do it this way or you, you know that you can just do it this way without finding the A. So either one, if you can, I would probably just like do, do it, um, like this isn't that bad. If you don't, cause like sometimes when you do this like, um, geometric or whatever assumptions uh you can just uh sometimes it, it may be wrong but if you do the math you're obviously gonna know that's right okay all right number 11. so uh, for this one so uh let's see in the equations above b and c it's another system i think represent or it, it maybe it may not be um b and c represent the price per pound in dollars of beef and chicken respectively i see so beef and b and c x weeks after july 1st during last summer okay what was the price per pound of beef when it was equal to the price per pound of chicken so again a word problem so it says here price so price um is the b what is the b of the beef when it's equal, keyword equal to the C of the chicken. When it says equal, you have B and C. B and C are equal in this case. That's what it's saying, right? Mm -hmm. So you just make them equal, and then it's asking what what it, where are they equal? Um, so you solve for you solve for x, and you plug them back in. That's very much what it says. What what you have to do? So um, you you make, you solve for x. So let's see, I mean, so you do this uh, minus, it's minus 1.75, minus 1.75, minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.25. So this one is a zero. And then let's see, this guy, this guy cancel 13. So 13 minus seven. So that's going to be six, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. And then the other one is um, 0 0.15 X. So that looks like it's a four. 
Is that correct? Yeah. So 0 0.15 x number of weeks um, would be four. So you have x equals four, you plug it back in here. So you plug it back in here. So either any will, it doesn't matter. Um, 2.35 plus 0 0.25 times four. And this one is the easy one because this is just a dollar. So it would be, it would be 335, right? Yeah. 3.35, $3.35. .35. There you go. So that, that's really what it is. When, when you're trying to do this mental math stuff, um, I would, like, if you can simplify, do that first before doing any of the arithmetic. Yeah. And it, whichever one is easy, you know, when you're playing in, like, something to something, look at the one where you plug it in, where it's easy. It's obviously easier to do this one, right? Yeah. Because of, like, dollar, quarter, whatever. I, you know, pick your game. It doesn't matter. Um, I, as long as it's the shortest path. So, okay, 12. So for this one, um, for this one, which of the fine points lies on the line? So this, I actually was like talking about this today, slopes and um, slope of a line. So <laughs> this is a long ways back, but um, the slope of a line is y m x plus b, right? Yeah. So slope is one seven, which is m, and then x. And it says through the origin, so you're, there is no intercept. The intercept is zero in this case. So it says y equals one seventh x. And it's asking you which of the points lies on the line. All you have to do is plug these guys in here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And and check if you have the right y. So, I mean, I, I've already tried these ones. So let me just do d. So let's see. When you do, what is your y when you plug in 14? so it's two so it's right right 14 and two for d yeah 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 so that's really what it is i mean you can just spot it spot it in, in essence like you can just look at them it's like okay like it can't be the other ones but i would just like go for you know the one and then just plug it plug them in check and that's it all right let's go for 13 so for this one this is the one where I guess it's testing you if you know how to do like um, rational expression simplification with like algebraic expressions. Um, so let me. Start. So yeah, you're given this guy, right? And it's saying what is equivalent to this. So all you have to do is, for the most part, every time you're given a, a fraction, um, I would probably just. Uh, combine the bottom as what you usually would do. So like maybe time this by x plus three, x plus three, and plus one, x plus two, uh, x plus three times x plus two. And then so you, so you could flip it afterwards. So you have, uh, let's see, you have, x plus two, x plus three, x plus three plus x plus two. So let's see, x plus x plus, yeah. And then when you do that, you have one over x or two x plus five. And then the bottom is x plus two. You don't have to like distribute it and then just flip it. So x plus two, x plus three, two x plus five. I'm already seeing what the answer is here, kind of. Mm -hmm. So like, even if you, um, well, it's obviously not these guys. And then when you, when you do the, the actual foil, so x squared plus five x plus six, two x plus five here. So that, I mean, you can do the full thing or you can just jump to the answer. It would be this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that one isn't that bad. Uh, let's look at this guy. This one's a little tricky. Uh, what you have to do with this one 
is let's see so it gives you this expression and now it's asking you something it's usually when there's exponents that's when it tricks people so what i would do here is find a way to simplify or like find a way to factor something and this is what i mean every time there's an exponent you're always finding a way to factor and to make things look like something else so you can plug them in so usually this eight right here what factor of two gives you like eight? Two to the third, right? Three. Yeah. And, and then you times this by X, yeah? X exponent, mm -hmm. I mean, raise it to the X. And you have two Y here, right? Mm -hmm. This is usually the case. Every time you get something, it's like, if it's either like a four or like a, a 16, you always do this, um, factorize it. So when you do this, rules of exponent, I was just talking about this today again. You, you, it's a product rule. Or like the uh, yeah product of the um, yeah so like when you when you or power rule rather um, when you power this on so you just times it right mm -hmm. two three times x over two to the y and this is the quotient rule of exponents what do you do with the three x and the y um make it equal the Mi minus right yeah it's a, it's a quotient rule. So this one minus this, this guy minus this guy, you put, place it to the top. You could have done it the other way. But, but the reason why we, we want to move the Y to the top, because you get this guy, right? Yeah. And it, what, what is this guy? 12. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the reason why, is this manipulation game? This is, this is what it is. So this is the answer, right? Yeah. And that's it. It's really, you know, this is what you do. You just have to... Make something look like something and then plug in. All right. Number 15. So this one, this one's a little tricky. Uh, the, what you have to do with this is what it's, because it's asking you for two things. What are the two possible values for C? So let's see. Uh, what you have to do first is you have to find what A and B equal. So what you do here is by it's giving you A plus B equals eight. So let's see. Okay, let's, let's just write what we have first. A plus B equals eight. And then you have this other equation, AX plus two, BX plus seven. And equals 15x squared plus cx plus 14. And so I guess expand this guy. Um, a, a, B, x squared, that guy. And then plus 7, a, x, and the other one is plus 2, b, x, plus 14. And then, I mean, you're going to see something, maybe you can, you know, look at the, the like expressions. See x plus 14. And, and then, so this is, this is a trick. Usually when you, when you do this, you have to look at the, these, you usually use this in um, like a calculus too, or the differential equations. But when you do this, you just match the coefficients because they both have x squared, right? Mm -hmm. So that must mean that AB equals 15. Their, their coefficients have to equal. That's just a trick. Same with these guys. And 14 is equal for so that's good enough. So AB equals 15. And then you also, you have this other equation, right? A plus B equals eight, and then you have AB equals 15, right? Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is um, solve for one of these guys. So let's see, uh, if you have like B equals eight minus A from this guy, plug it in here. So A, eight A equals 15. And so when you do that, you, you're gonna get, let's see, eight A minus A squared equals 15. And then so when you put them together, 
you have a squared minus, I'll put them on the other side, 8a plus 15 equals zero. And then, so from this, I mean, you could memorize the um, quadratic formula, but I, I would just try to make this easy. So I would probably do like a maybe a minus three. This is not that bad. Minus five, right? Yeah, so five. So your a in this case is either because you have two values. So you have either a equals three which then gives you, I mean, what you plug in A back in the equation here, right? This equation. Mm -hmm. Or what, what, yeah, this equation, or this one right here. And you get B equals five, or A equals five, plug it back in that equation, when B equals, B equals three. So you have two things here. And the, let me see, so. And now, and now all you have to do, so you, you have two equations, uh, two var you know, two var uh, values for each of the variables. And let's go back to the question. What is it really asking you? It's asking you, what are the two possible values for C? So for each one of these, it gives you C for the first one and C for the first, second one, right? Like if you plug in the uh, first set of A and B, it'll give you one C. Mm -hmm. And then the second set of A and B will give you a second C, right? Yeah. And that, that's really what you have to do. You just have to, uh, so let, let's actually, you know, obviously we have time. So we'll, we'll put that into place. So for the first one here, uh, if you use A equals three and then B equals five, um, let's solve for C. So let's see. Uh, okay. So in this equation right here, so yeah, you have you have three times five x squared plus seven three times three x plus two times five times x plus fourteen. And then make it equal to the bonds and make it match. Um, you have fifteen for the x squared. And then for the X, this is the C we're talking about for the first C, plus 14. 14 matches, doesn't matter. What you need to do is look at this and then look at this. So let's see what C1 equals. So it should be like this. So whatever this value is, it should be the same thing here. Seven times three is 21 plus 10, yeah? Yeah. So that's 31, right? Mm -hmm. C1, X. So the, the first C is 31. Yeah? Yeah. And now all you have to do, so that's done. The next thing is this, doing the same thing. If you do the same thing, whatever I just did, um, you're going to get C2 equals... No, nah, I don't want to skip stuff. So let's, let's go through it. So um, what is it? So you have five and three x squared plus seven and that's five x plus two b three x plus 14 so and then the equal 15 x squared plus c2 x plus 14 so just take a look at this same thing x equals c2 x so you have 35 plus 6 right so c2 equals 41 right and let's take a look at if that's that matches whatever we just one of the choices and we we have that indeed it's right here right mm -hmm. so this was a long one this, this is probably like the longest one if you were to encounter this and then um the process of that, it's not that bad, right? Yeah. It's just long, like, because um, you have to do a lot of, like, you know, putting things in place. All right, so that's 15. Let's look at, let's look at the other one. So that was, 
those ones are the ones where you have to, the, you know, multiple choice. And then these other ones is uh, you have to actually answer them with, an, with a filling it in. So, I mean, either way, it's just math. Like, as long as you have the, you're doing the right steps, um, even if you don't have the answer set up right there, you can, you can just fill it in. So for this, 16. Um, it's asking you, it gives you this and it's asking you, what is the value of T? So what I, it's the same thing as what you would do. Um, just what, what is T squared minus four? T plus two times T minus two. Yep. So the, that's what, you know, what you usually do. So you do that and then, and then what is T? Mm, two, because the other one is a negative. Yeah, good, yeah. Because of this guy, right? Yeah. That's it. It's really simple. And then, okay, let's look at this. Well, probably one of the reasons why it would be hard is um, when, it, you know, when it introduces some geometry. But you just have to remember all those, like, you know, uh, complementary angles, vertical angles, supplementary angles, all of that, yeah? yeah. And inter intersecting angles. So if you look at a picture like this, it, it's the same as with the other ones. I would probably, like, if... um. If you're super good in geometry, do it. If you're fair or what, it, not so good, uh, I would probably do it last. Mm -hmm. But for this one, uh, you have to find what uh, if these guys are similar. So let's see if they're similar. Uh, okay, so you have the very first thing here is A E B A E B to so this guy. Let me A E B this this angle. Is this is the same as CDB? This guy, and the because it marks it in here. Either they have to mark it, or they're. Uh, I think I, uh, if I remember, they're just the opposite or something. I forgot the term, um, but they have to be the same because then they're opposite sides. Mm -hmm. And and the next thing is um, vertical angles. So A. B and E. So th these guys, now let me just delete the, these for confusion. A, B and E. So this guy and C, B, D. C, B, D. So they're on opposite sides, right? These have mm -hmm. to be equal because they're vertical. Yeah? They're mm -hmm. vertical angles. So you have this guy is the same as this guy. This guy is the same as this guy. So that must mean they're similar, right? Mm hmm like their angles are similar, two angles are similar. So that's their, the third one has to be the same, similar, because their two angles are similar, they're the same. So if that's the case, then you can apply the rules of them, similar triangles. Uh, so what you have to do is just compare like a, a proportionality equation for, for their sides. So this guy over this guy, so let me just write that down, CD over that guy, should be the same as the proportion of, where's the BD in this case? Yeah. BD should be the same as this guy over this guy, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's BD over, I was covering the, over BE. So one thing to make sure here is that the bottom has to be and the top has to be in the same side. So this is the same side as this, so we're good. Um, CD is the same side as BD, so that's good. And then let's let's see let, let, let's see what it gives you. So let's see CD in the, the, the CD in that sketch were determined to be eighteen hundred. So it says their CD is eighteen hundred. So eighteen hundred over X. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I, what am I thinking? It's not the right one. And then A, B, E, B, that, that actually said respectively. So um, it says here A, B, E, B, B, D, C, D, and the sketch word determines 1800, 1400, 700. So this is 800, actually. 800 over X. Where's B, D? B, D is the third one. 700. And the second one is 1400. 1400. Yeah. So that's your equation, and then you just solve this for x, right? Mm -hmm. What is the value of x? 
So 700 X equals 800 times 1400. And like I said, a lot of this, I would not do the arithmetic until you find the final equation. Because a lot of times it will cancel. It has to, because it's this is the no calc portion. So something will cancel. So you have one here and you have two here, right? Mm -hmm. So you have 800 times two, which is 1600. And that's the answer, 1600. Okay. And you could also just find the ratio between BD, BE, right? And then just multiply it by that. BD and BE? Yeah. So if you divide 1400 by 700 and you know that there's a the one ratio, you could just multiply 800 by two. 800 by, oh, I see what you're saying. So this is two, yeah, yeah. And, and then and then multiply that by two, but knowing that they're, they're similar. Yep, yeah. yeah, you can do that. Okay. Either way, like, like I said, there's a multiple ways, but then as long as, yeah, because once you know they're similar, you can either write the formal equation or just do the rate. It's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just um, a jump. So, so okay, 18. Okay, let, let, let's take a look at this one. What is the value of X? See, so well, the value of X. See, let's see. Um, so, Cargoni says, what is what? So, it's just another system of equation. It's asking for X, so you have to cancel Y, yeah? Yep. So, I would probably do times two here. Uh, times two and then minus the bottom. So it's like two X plus two Y um, uh, minus 18, two X minus 18 and minus X minus two Y minus 25 so plus 25 minus, 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 minus. Okay, and then just add. So that's gonna be X, this cancels out. And then you have, um, so you add this one. So that's gonna be uh, seven. Isn't it seven? Yeah, it's seven. Okay. And 19. All right, 19. So finally the treg shows up. <laughs> Wait, for the 18? Yeah. I got minus seven. How did you get minus seven? Um, so I multiplied minus two for the top. Okay. And minus like, two? Oh, you, you did minus two. Let me see. Okay. So you did minus two here? Yeah. So I multiply minus two to all of the things minus. for the first equation. So you, you got this one, right? Minus two X minus two times 18, right? Minus yeah. two X minus two. Right? Okay. And then you added the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, let's look at that one. So adding the bottom. So you cancel this guy. And then you got minus oh, actually, X. Never mind. I see where it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah, there's a negative. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so 19. So 19, finally, some treg shows up. My, like, I, I, I don't know. Treg usually, um, for some people, uh, they like it. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know if like treg identity shows up. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, but, Try to memorize some of them, if not all of them, um, because like it will make your life easier if you. Because this one, for example, is asking you, what is cosine of ninety degrees minus x, right? Mm -hmm. And then like there's there's this identity, I believe. Do you remember this identity where you have sine of x equals cosine of pi over two minus x? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, the, the track identities is the one that messes with people. And for the most part, that, that's what the what shows up. And cosine sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, and then tan squared, all of those other ones. I mean, what I would do is probably just like do some problems on those on your track, whatever, pre-calc. Um, and then like just uh, like for each one, know how to simplify and know how to use them. Memorize if you can. I would probably use them so that it gets um uh yeah, you, you tend to like, you know, know it better rather than just memorizing it. So let's see. So after you do this, uh, and then when, what does it say in the right, in the right, 
in a right angle, one angle measures X where sine of X equals four fifths. Okay, so that's what it is. Sine of X, it gives it to you right here. It says four fifths, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you know this, you just make it equal each other. And you, you actually already have the answer. <laughs> the answer is already here. Got it. It's just four fifths. Yeah? Yeah. So like, this is just really testing if you know your track identity. If you know it, life is so easy. Because then, because if you didn't know it, you won't be able to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 20. Let's see. All right, let's see for 20. This is not that bad. So let's say A, it gives you A again as five root two. This is just testing your radical um, expression and algebra. And what is the value of X? So just plug in, in the equation right here, right? Five root two and solve for X. So that's, let's see, that's 10 root two, right? And then root two X, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you, what do you do with this? You just square it, right? Yeah. So that's 100 times two divided by two. So that's two X divided by two. So X equals cancel 100, yeah? Yeah. So yeah, I, this, this is, oh, we actually finished this on. <laughs> That's the first. Okay. All right. So um, I guess for homework, uh, I don't, I don't know, like maybe do this one first and then maybe um, on Sunday, tell me if it's easier or not. And then, okay. Cause um, I really, I wanted to focus more on the mental math. Cause like, you know, when you have your calculator, yeah. You, let me see. Maybe we'll, we'll cover it for one week. Um, this guy, but I want to, I want to focus on the mental math. Cause that's usually the one where if you build a lot of speed on that, Mm -hmm. then you can you can do this one uh, you can spend more time on four right mm -hmm. if the strategy is to do number three as fast as you can um actually let, let, me, let me ask you are you are these sections like when you finish can you move on i forget it's like or do uh, you have to no, i don't think you can you can't move on never mind <laughs> yeah, okay so if you finish it, you just have to wait, right? Yeah, and then you can just check your work. Okay. Okay, I, same thing. J just let me know if um, we have to cover four more. If okay. we have to spend like two weeks or like maybe just one week. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that bad, right? The, um, not doing this now, we'll probably do this. Not a lot of it, but um, next time I'll ask you, like in instead of just me like doing it. Yeah. So, okay, Aaron, thanks, man. And then um, yeah, do this for homework and let me know. Okay. Thank you. All right. See ya.